here in Austin today with Dr. Steve Hotze. Dr. Hotze, uh, there was an amazing press conference this morning where you're filing suit against the Obama administration and the federal government for Obamacare. And I think that's exciting news for small business owners all across the country and certainly for our Republicans here in Texas. Tell us a little bit what's behind that. What prompted you as a business owner to do that? Well, as a business owner, uh, with over 75 people on staff, for whom I provide health insurance, we discovered that our health insurance rates were going to be dramatically increased, contrary to everything that the administration had, had promised about health care. They said health care costs would go down. Well, in fact, health care uh, insurance prices have gone up dramatically. Well, and I've talked to other business owners. Those business owners that operate on a slimmer margin of profit find it very difficult to be able to pay the increased rates of insurance. Insurance rates have been going up for years. Now with Obamacare, they're going up dramatically, which is going to force a lot of businesses to eliminate their health care provisions for their for their employees, which is going to, and they're going to have to pay a fine. The fine's cheaper than paying the insurance, which is dramatically higher, which can put them out of business. And that's going to throw the burden on the employees to go get their own insurance. Well, private insurance rates have gone up about double or projected to go up double. So that's going to put the burden of health care, which used to be on primarily on the employer, is now going to be on the on the uh, individual. So it's a train wreck. And so what is going to happen is a lot of people, probably less people will have insurance because of Obamacare than, than the number of people that didn't have insurance before Obamacare, because people aren't going to be able to uh, uh, afford the higher rates, which is ultimately meant to drive everybody into a socialized system. That's what they're working for. Well, how can we stop it? My attorney, Andy Schlafly, has looked at the, at the previous lawsuit that the states, 27 or 28 states, including Texas, brought against the uh, Obama, uh, brought against Obamacare. And uh, there are several constitutional issues that weren't even addressed, one of which is the origination clause. All revenue-raising bills have to start in the House of Representatives. This revenue-raising part of this bill started in the Senate. So it violates uh, the, the article in the U.S. Constitution that requires all bills that are revenue raising start in the House. The second thing it does is it forces individuals to have to pay money to other private individuals. We're not having to pay money to the government. It forces me as a business to have to go out and buy insurance or pay a penalty. That is, a, that is an unconstitutional taking under the... Uh, Fifth Amendment. You can't force, now the government can force me to tax, tax me and pay them money, but they can't force me to pay you money and buy something from you. If, so if I'm an employer and I have a business and you're an insurance company, they're forcing me to have to buy from you or some other insurance company what they require, and that's unconstitutional. So the suit was filed today a little after one o'clock at Federal District Court in Houston, Texas, mm -hmm. in the Southern Division. It, uh, we, we are asking for declaratory and injunctive relief. And what that means is we're going to ask them to, in, in Texas, stop it. And so the, the way it will go, either the federal judge in Houston within the next one or two weeks will either say, I'm going to grant you a temporary injunction to hear the case, or he's not, at which point it will be appealed in either case. Whoever wins the side will, the other side will appeal it to the Fifth Circuit. And we feel very, no, no Obamacare case has been challenged in the Fifth Circuit, which happens to be the most conservative circuit in the country. We feel like we'll get a fair hearing there. When they overturn it, it will only take two or three judges, it'll be a three-judge panel. When they overturn it in the Fifth Circuit, it'll immediately go back to the Supreme Court. And there we hope that uh, Justice Roberts will agree that this tax, which he declared it to be a tax. Mm -hmm. the, all the supporters of the bill said it wasn't a tax. He declared it to be a tax, but it was not. Uh, it was not part of the pleadings on the, on the of the states that it was a tax. They never claimed that because they said it wasn't a tax. But he, in his ruling, said it was a tax. Tax revenue bills have to start in the House. They can't start in the Senate, and that's the case. So we feel very confident about this. And uh, it's what Texas ought to be doing. We ought to be hitting them a lick and never say die. So that's what I decided to do. Absolutely. You know, Nancy Pelosi said we had to pass that bill to see what was in it. Right. And unfortunately, and we, small we, businesses are really seeing what's in it. We found out what's in it, and it's not good. So it's loaded with tons of taxes. Some people may not even know it, but your home, if you sell your home, you now have to pay the 3.5% tax to the federal government on the sale of your home. That's unheard of.
So every, they're, they're, every every medical device that you buy, whether it's a wheelchair, has, has a to be taxed. Or, right. So it's just it's basically a, it was it was a revenue increasing tax bill is what it was but under the guise of health care, uh, better health care. What 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 Obamacare is going to give us is higher taxes, higher insurance premiums, and bureaucrats invading the doctor patient relationship. Well, Dr. Hosey, we're going to be following this as it goes. Thanks so much. And uh, good luck with it. And you know, let us know. We'll keep you we posted. Thanks so much. Thank you. Okay.